shaders is one of the best ways to customize and make Minecraft look better and look more appealing to the eye. And in this video, we're going to show you how to download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.19.4. Now, first things first here, we will need to download a shaders pack. Luckily, in the description, I believe it's the uh, second link in the description down below, it will take you here. And this is our best shaders for 2023. All of these are confirmed to be working with Optifine, and all of them just look great once they get in game. So as we scroll down through here, we can grab a few different ones. Normally I do BSL shaders, we're not going to do that today actually. We're going to do Makeup Ultra Fast. We'll also scroll down and grab Dr. Destin's MC shaders. And then one more here, let's go ahead and grab... Hmm, what do we want to do, everybody? We'll grab Nostalgia Shaders. This is based on older Shaders packs. So there we go. There are three packs. We've clicked download on all of them. Now, most Shaders packs are going to be downloaded from here. This is Curse Forge. Not all of them are. For example, BSL Shaders has its own sort of download setup, but that's okay. Relatively, all you need to know about downloading Shaders is that they should come as a .zip file, and the version doesn't matter that much. Right, as you can see here, this is for 1.19.4. That's awesome. But if it's not, that's also okay. Shaders actually from 1.17, yes, Minecraft 1.17, still do work in a lot of cases. Not all the time. Sometimes they will be broken. And if they are, you can move on to a more updated shaders pack, like Make Up Ultra Fast. But most shaders work from old versions. So don't stress about the version of the shaders pack that you're downloading too much. And should you add one to the game and it breaks or something doesn't look right, well then guess what? That's easily fixable. You can just remove it. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get Makeup Ultra Fast here. I would recommend going to Files here. And then you want to make sure that you're downloading the most recent version. There's no reason to download an older version if you don't have to. And as you can see, 1.19.4 here. So let's go ahead and click Download right there and it will go ahead and start downloading after a few seconds oh, there we go i had to click it twice now this is on the old curse forge there's also the beta curse forge and that is going to look like this right so very different sort of design here same sort of process you want to go to files and then again you want to find the most recent version now for this pack it's 1.19.1 it's gonna work once we get in game though like i said older shaders packs do still work now once we found the version we want we want to click the three dots on the right hand side and click download file right like so it will then start the download after a few seconds and you'll be good to go boom it will be downloading Repeat this one more time from Nostalgia Shaders, go to Files, and as you can see, this one's updated to 1.18.2. It's still going to work in game, so don't worry about it. Go ahead and click Download there, and we'll be good to go. Now, Optifine is how shaders actually work, right? You install your shaders packs via Optifine, and then you can use them in game. So, Optifine is what we need to get in order to use the shaders. Luckily, in the description down below, I believe it's the third link down below, we have a complete guide on getting Optifine. And in addition to that, we're going to go over the basics of getting Optifine in this video. However, this complete guide covers everything, including troubleshooting potential issues you may have with Optifine, and even talks about installing shaders packs specifically. Nevertheless, though, once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Optifine button to go to Optifine's official download page. Now, the time I'm recording this video, Optifine's still in preview. Think of it like beta, right? And so because of that, there's no version versions listed under 1.19.4 until we click preview versions. Once we do that, we unlock a whole bunch of different versions here, but we hope in the future this isn't the case. And if you either don't have preview versions or if there's a version listed, like for example, as you can see here with this version, if it's just list a version, that's the one you want to go with because that's going to be the most up to date. Right now, there's still bugs, there's still issues in Optifine. So nonetheless, once you've clicked preview versions here, we can go under Optifine and click the mirror link. The reason we click mirror is it bypasses a little ad, and now we're on the Optifine 1.19.4 download page. On this page, go ahead and click on the purple blue download button, and Optifine will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save Optifine depending on your browser, and uh, it's 100% safe to do that as long as it has Optifine and 1.19.4 in the title, which ours does. Nonetheless, though, before we get into installing shaders packs, how about a mess from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love Apex so much that we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting, and at Apex, you have one-click installation of over 200 mod packs. Not to mention that you have 24 hours, seven day a week support as well, which means that if you have an issue in the middle of the night, or in the middle of the morning, or in the middle of the day, it doesn't matter. Someone is there to help you out with live chat support 24 hours a day and seven days a week. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nonetheless, here we are. We have downloaded Optifine. We can go ahead and minimize our browser. And once we do that, we can move our shaders packs and Optifine to our desktop. 
Now, where are they right now? They're most likely in your downloads folder. So click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this file explorer here. Open this up and then on the left hand side, we want to scroll down to this PC. Then we want to select downloads in the this PC menu. From there, what we want to do is move all of these to our desktop. So Optifine in any shaders packs you want. It is worth mentioning that every single shader pack can be installed using the methods we're going to outline in this video. So if uh, we don't have the shader pack you want on our website, that's okay. You can still install it this way. Nevertheless, though, before we can install the shaders packs, we need to install Optifine. To do that, go ahead and right click on the Optifine installer, click on open with and click on Java then click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, what do you do? Well, you need to get Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Optifine and Shaders are Minecraft mods, so we need Java 17. Luckily, there's an in-depth guide in the description that goes over everything you need to know, including troubleshooting different issues and all of that. It's also worth noting that you may need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. It's also going to fix your icons. If your icons don't look like uh, Java icons, that's uh, going to fix that. This is an in-depth guide, text tutorial down here, video tutorial at the top. You've probably gotten pretty used to that at this point. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and install Optifine. Right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. The Optifine installer is going to open here, and all we need to do is click Install. Now, there's really two reasons this won't work. One, Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. If that's the case, close out of both, reopen up Optifine, and then click Install. Or two, you've never played Minecraft 1.19.4 before. You need to go launch it with no mods or anything installed, just from the main menu, just from the Minecraft launcher, just launch it up, and then close out of it once you reach the main menu. Then, come back into Optifine here, click Install, and it will work. But as you can see, Optifine is now successfully installed for us. So we can close out of that. You can also delete Optifine from your desktop. Now we want to go ahead and launch up Minecraft with our Optifine installation. Now for me, Optifine is automatically selected. You can see Optifine, it's 1.19.4 Optifine. So we can click play and click play again. But for those of you that do not have this or you don't have the 1.19.4 version, click on installations. Next, make sure modded is selected. Without it selected, Optifine won't be there. As you can see, once we select it, it reappears. Then, if you've got it now, you can click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Optifine or the 1.19.4 version, click new installation. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Shaders 1.19.4 because that's what we're installing. And the most important part of this is clicking this version drop down box and selecting release 1.19.4 Optifine. For me, it's up here at the top. You might have to scroll down to find yours. I've seen it be at the very bottom. I've seen it be in the middle. I've seen it be in a lot of random places, but mine's right up here at the top. Then we want to go ahead and change our resolution, right like so. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that so you can see once we get in game. And then finally, we can click create. Now, what we want to do is launch up Minecraft with either the Optifine installation that was there or the one recreated, 1.19.4 Optifine being the version. That's the most important part. Click play, click play again. Now Minecraft will open. That's the hard part. Now it's super easy to install shaders. And the good news is you don't even have to relaunch Minecraft after you've installed shaders. You just add them in the game. You don't have to do anything else. So nonetheless, once we're here in the Minecraft main menu, we can click on options, video settings, shaders. So I'm gonna do that one more time. It's a little fast here. So we wanna go ahead and go options, video settings, shaders. And then from here, all we need to do to install our shaders packs is click on the shaders folder button in the bottom left and then drag and drop your shaders from your desktop into the shader packs folder. Now when we close out of this, boom, there they are in game. Dr. Destin's Minecraft shaders, make them ultra fast and nostalgia. We'll just work our way down the list. Go ahead and select Dr. Destin's first. It's gonna reload Minecraft, activating it. And before we jump in game, Look in the bottom right, we have shader options. And this is where you can come in here and change so much stuff with your shaders packs. What kind of resolution do you want? What kind of profile performance, all of that stuff. You can reset it back to default. All of that can be done here. And every shaders packs has some kind of shader options. Those are some options you can change on the right hand side. Nevertheless though, we can go ahead and click done there. And then we can launch into Minecraft. I'm gonna turn my render distance down a little bit and then check out these shaders packs. Now what's really cool is you can actually change your shader pack right in game, right? So when we're in game here, we're going to see Dr. Destiny Shader is going to look all good. It's going to look all nice, awesome stuff. Look at that. You got the grass blowing in the wind. There's a bit of a fuzziness, but I think that's actually just kind of how this shaders pack's meant to be. But that's all right. Looks good. Shaders is installed, but I don't love it. I do love, however, if we go into pause, right? Pause menu there, options, video settings, shaders that we can change to make up ultra fast shaders right in game. So it's selected now, and then we can go into shader options here and uh, we have the different profiles. So you've got high, medium, extreme. Look at all these different profiles that you can select. Once you've done that, click done and boom, we are now back in game where we can see a different shader specs. Look how different it looks, completely different 
than the other pack that we had. Some of that blurriness is gone, looking good. Now, last but not least, well, just for completion's sake, we can switch to Nostalgia Shaders, right like so. And uh, the cool thing about Nostalgia Shaders is we have a bunch of different profiles as well. As you can see, every one of these has that. Click Done, Reloads with the new shaders options, and there we go. Look at that. Awesome stuff. New shaders pack. Nostalgia Shaders installed. So that's how you can get shaders in Minecraft 1.19.4. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We're more than happy to help you out. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to check out the one on your screen right now. YouTube thinks you'll like it. Let's see if they're right. I'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.